What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Blue Lock Season 2, Episode 2. Very excited. Remember, if you guys want to watch the full uncut version of this episode, as well as early access and uncuts to the other shows, the other movies, everything, check out that Patreon link down below. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Blue Lock Season 2, Episode 2. Let's do it. It is a random. I love the way they show the visuals of this RNG number generator. Ichiro. I love this. They need to make a video game like this. We're in the first match with two randos I've never seen before. <laughs> Shikuma. Ooh. Dark skinned man. Okay. A golem and a predator. The third one's going to be someone we recognize. Chigiri. Okay. Okay. I do love me some Chigiri. And I relate to him so much more. I don't want to pause it. I just, personal little tidbit. I had a serious uh, injury that I needed multiple surgeries for on my wrist uh, last year. So now when I think about doing stuff and I have a little PTSD from my injury and stuff like that, I always think of Chigiri. I really do. So shout out Chigiri. Exactly as that ego said. You want to be able to cooperate, but still show yourself off and excel, you know? Be aggressive. True. Teammates are also rivals. Use them as stepping stones. I like how as he's talking about needing to step over these guys and be rivals. These guys are the nicest guys we've seen so far in Blue Law. We got little happy bubbles coming off. He's so used to the meanest, bleakest people so far. <laughs> Gentle parallel. Hopefully this makes us excel though when it doesn't knock off our egotistical edge, you know? Okay. Alright, I do like the jersey colors. So us three plus our top six, and their three plus their top six. Besides Chigiri, Rin, and Isagi, so many characters I'm excited to see what they can do and and their limits and stuff like that. And we know a lot of characters have specific individual abilities, you know, like Chigiri's the speed, Isagi's spatial awareness. I'm excited. First to five goals. Okay. Oh my goodness. And we have the Gojo guy on our team. Kick off. Ooh. Okay, and he actually passed it. I can expect everyone to be like Baro in this game, you know. They're going to do what it takes to win. Shigiri's way too fast to be able to... And he's our ex-teammate. Oh. What in the 3D video game sort of camera work is this? What the? I love how they're visualizing this. <laughs> he said, fuck teamwork. I'm going to do a bat. What the hell kind of kick is that? A no look back heel shot? Having Gojo be his voice is so perfect. It's like uh, aroused. Alright, restart. <laughs> I'm dumb. I need to know all these voice actors for these new characters. I really feel like I recognize a lot of them. It's like his. So this is a very analytical, observational kind of guy. And he's going to get in our head easily with that. He's making some fair points. Wow. Okay, double stiff arm. 
Karasu's hobby so and just like that it's one one I gotta get a lot of these names down tell you overdose I'm gonna poke you okay mr. drug man the assassin and the ninja so he's an analyzer to his core I see yes he has and he will tear us apart is he the ninja only say that because he gives me Kuroko vibes I love the way they're visualizing a lot of the chess in this season so far because this is really chess when you think about it. it makes me feel like it's a video game in the best way possible and just physically undoes him from the ball I love their use of dark heavy lines too it gives me high Q vibes like a ninja Okay, the assassin and the ninja. The ninja's on their team as well. Otoya, aka the ninja. And just like that, they're up 2 1. What? He's actually a descendant of a ninja? That's dope. I love their outlines. <laughs> Rin, I have been waiting on you to show me some. Yeah, you are quite literally being dismantled. I, I love the way they visualize certain things. Like, this season's animation is so different from season one. Ah, he baited him out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it's 2-2. Two, two. That was nice. That was clean. Itoshirin. Yeah, Karusu's our big issue right now. And then we still need to match their levels and outshine them. That's exactly my question. We're in a game full of beasts. I like it. Don't get too in your head. Just focus on being in the moment, being in the zone, you know? In the flow of things. Okay. Run on the wings. Run on the edges. And it's going to be a head-to-head. -head. Yeah, he does have a lot of space to gear up. I don't think you have space. Yup. Oh, we know Chiri's got the burners. I love the way they animate that. I love my voice. Chigiri, is he about to do this? I don't want him to be up. That was some great teamwork. I fucking love Chigiri, but I hate him at the same time. Like, damn it, man. I gotta give him props where props is due. Come on. Lady Ninja. <laughs> That's a, that's a, quite the definition. Great way to show us. Don't tell me that was the episode already. Thank the Lord. I was about to say, I was way too fast. I love how they keep showing us the restart after a goal has been had. It's going to be either Ren or Gojo. He literally stole the ball from his own teammate. And it cost him the goal. Mm. Oh, now we're down two. Oh, look at Ren. He got that vein. They both are heated. Yeah, quite literally. Oh. Can he use that to his advantage? We know Isagi is the king of using disadvantages to it. We know he's the king of that. I love the way they're animating this season. There's certain things I don't, I'm not liking, but there are a lot of things I'm loving about it. That was fast as hell. That was fast as hell. All right, this was a fantastic episode. No hesitation. We're immediately getting into that first match. Immediately already multiple really cool moments. That's the one 
for a couple there's been a lot of controversy around the season just based off the trailers and everything talking about the animation and the art style and a lot of people thinking it's going to be a lot less i don't know what words i'm trying to look for a lot less good animation that's the dumbest way i've could have worded it but uh because of certain clips from the nagi movie people are but there are certain aspects of this episode that i was like i could have used some different animation but so many different aspects of them slowing it down and showing not only what our characters are thinking but visualizing it in such a cool way i am really enjoying this there's a lot of cg in there but cg doesn't dissuade me at all i'm a cg advocate especially if used right ufo table is one of the best uses users of cg in the anime industry so i'm not dissuaded by that i am thoroughly enjoying their use of the outlines the heavy saturation the colors there's a lot that i'm really enjoying the heavy dark lines i'm really enjoying a lot um i'm curious where this is going to go because we're down by two points and it only looks like we're struggling the isagi somehow has to come he has to out over outdo karasu and i don't know how we're gonna do it but i'm really enjoying the assassin the ninja seeing uh antenna boy or gojo as they call him you know but uh thoroughly enjoying this so far hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below check out the patreon for the full uncut versions of this as well as early access to the movies everything on the channel don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love me have a great day dapper squad peace out